All right, hey there guys. Uh, today we're gonna try to make a video on how to wire in an accessory fuse block uh, additional to your standard fuse block on your Kubota M59. I searched all over the internet and looked at YouTube. I couldn't find anyone who actually showed how to do this or where to find the power to, to power that accessory fuse block. Um, so today we're gonna try to show you how. Um, just want to let you know this is specific to the Kubota M59 and while myself and my wife are mechanical engineers we don't assume any responsibility if you try this on your own and you burn your tractor up uh, we are not electrical engineers uh, this is just how we chose to put power on our machine for some accessories we're going to be adding in the future so real quick if you google search or YouTube search uh, adding accessories to a Kubota M59 or any Kubota tractor what generically is going to come up are some videos that guys are telling you uh, to check in your your ROPS bar uh, that's going up to your lights uh, that there should be some kind of wire that's coming out down in between your frame and there's some bullet connectors so I'm gonna tell you right now, I've done that, I've looked, I can't find it. So what we're gonna to do today is we are going to tap into a switch circuit. Let me open this up real quick. We are gonna tap into a switch circuit um, that's powered from our original fuse block down here. Uh, that's gonna turn on with the key. And we are going to use that 12 volt power that's going to that switch circuit to energize an additional relay for the auxiliary fuse panel that we're also gonna mount right in this area. So uh, again, this, is, this might not be the absolute best way to do it or what the dealership would do, but this is what I was able to figure out and what worked best for our situation. So stay tuned. All right, so in order to do this, we're going to need a couple things. This isn't everything, but it's at least going to get you started. So we're going to need some cable sleeving. We're going to need wires. We're going to need electrical tape. We're going to need zip ties. We're going to need zip tie stickers. We're going to need adhesive heat shrink. We're going to need a five pin Bosch style relay. We're going to need a fuse. We're going to need this is a blue C fuse block. Um, just a disclaimer here too, uh, I just burned out this bracket on our plasma table. Um, so when you buy, if you buy a blue C systems uh, four fuse block assembly, it's not gonna come with this sweet bracket. If you have an M59 and you want one of these, uh, message me and we can probably get you one for like 15, 20 bucks. We're gonna need heat shrink. Uh, we're gonna need this to, to tighten up our heat shrink and also to solder our, our wires. Connectors, spare Bosch style uh, relay uh, for, it to, for it to plug into just in case we need it. Fuses and more pins. All right, so real quick here, we are gonna show you how I personally am gonna wire this tractor uh, for the aux auxiliary panel. So this is a five pin Bosch style relay. Um, there's important things to know is there's 30, there's 85, 86, 87, and 88A, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, here's our battery plus and minus, okay? All we're gonna do is we're gonna run a power cable up through the dash from the battery and it's gonna come up and it's gonna live underneath my dash panel. All right, from there, what's gonna happen is this power line is gonna be number 30, okay? And then when this thing energizes, when the key's turned on from the other switch circuit, it's going to send power out of the 87 uh, the 87 pin, right? 
Uh, you could do it with 87A, uh, but you'd have to change your wiring configuration. So just, this is the way I'm doing it. Then you're gonna have your 87, uh, pardon me, your 86 and your 85. All right, so let's just say 85 goes to some grounding point that's negative on the tractor, right? What we're gonna then do is because I don't want to modify my wiring harness on this tractor because I'm like a little on the OCD side. So what I did is I am gonna make a pin that will slide into the already uh, factory Bosch style relay that has an extra wire coming out. And that's gonna trigger, that's gonna be that 12 volt switched positive that I keep talking about. That's gonna trigger this relay and allow that, that switch to close here. And then this 87 pin is going to supply my auxiliary fuse block with all of my new accessories and my fuses in it. All right, so again, this is the way I'm doing it. Um, I'm sure I'm gonna get roasted in the comments but this is what works for me and has worked for me in the past. So that's the way I'm doing it. So again, positive from your battery going into 30, it's always gonna have power. And then when the key is turned on, we're gonna pull power from another Bosch relay that's already in the tr tractor's factory wiring harness. And that's gonna energize this right here. And between the the 85 and the 86 it's going to close this switch right here and you're going to send power through 87 into your flute into your fuse block all right guys so you might not see everything i do here just because i'm going to be underneath the machine and going through all this area and up into the dash but what i'm going to do is that right there is my positive right above my finger i'm going to put uh, a crimpable eyelet on that tighten it onto that battery post and put a fuse right behind it. And then that's gonna be my power wire that's gonna go up through kind of the firewall, up into the back of this dash and next to one of these Bosch style relays. I already took this out, but this whole panel here is gonna have to get pulled out and get out of the tractor um, in order for us to, to work where we need to. Um, we're also going to run that quarter inch uh, wire loom through all of here just in case something rubs or chafes, you know, we're not taking 12 volts to something on the frame and having sparking and arcing. That would be a fire potential. So let's just come back once we get that quarter inch loom put in and I'll kind of trace it through you and I'll show you guys what we're doing. All right guys, so quick update. We removed the shroud all right, or the dash. There's four bolts. There's like one there, two in the middle, one on the other side. All right, we started to pull our cable loom here, right, that we're gonna run our new power wire in. This is what I think is the work lights. Um, I turned the key on when the work lights came on, this came on, so what I did is I pulled the factory uh, connector out of this harness, uh, put in my own, right, and uh, soldered to it and I've got a, a jumper right and this will be my trigger wire this is what's going to cycle my uh, 86 on my relay or yeah 86 uh, so that's gonna kick the power through down to the fuse block that I'm gonna mount right down here so on this other side I'll walk around real quick and on the other side here uh, we ran that that loom down if you can see it and we're zip tying it in and then it's running down and it's gonna go underneath the tractor over top of the transmission probably gonna zip tie it to some more stuff and then we'll tie it into our battery so again what I did over here this is um, what I wanted to do so I did not have to cut into this harness. I hate using those T splice clips um, to, to grab 12 volts because then the wire corrodes and it just causes a whole bunch of problems. So if my buddy Kevin is watching, this is for you. I soldered this um, and crimped it. It's, it's dual purpose. 
belt and suspenders. All right, guys, so you are probably not gonna be able to see that, but my wife is trying to push that over top of the transmission on the M59. I'm gonna tell you guys, do yourself a favor and put your outriggers down and lift the whole front of the tractor up so that you aren't trying to squeeze underneath here. But what we're gonna try to do, you can see it, is we're going to, we're gonna go over top of this transmission and then we're gonna drop down on this side and the battery is on the other side of this piece of steel. All right, so it's the next day because we got rained out yesterday. But as you can see, here is our loom. We pulled our wire through. We've mounted our bracket to put our Bosch style relay on, right? And down here at the battery, we've just tied in our positive. This is going to be our, our number 30 uh, that goes into the switched relay. And then once that relay is triggered, it's going to go out our 87. So uh, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna finish up wiring up. We're gonna put our power, uh, feed this to our fuse box, our auxiliary one. We're gonna run one of these to ground and one of these to positive to trigger this, this ice cube style relay. All right guys, so there it is. There's your mounted relay with your power to your auxiliary fuse box down here. Uh, your power from your battery your trigger wire red and your ground here that's to activate this uh activate the solenoid and as you can see we ran down we've got our fuse box our aux fuse panel um and that's it for this video um i'm not going to show you guys how to wire whatever accessory you want because that could vary person to person and for what you're trying to wire but uh there it is a quick tutorial on how to pull aux power uh, for an auxiliary fuse block.